my dear students today we are going to start up with the new chapter of your english literature that is your second chapter mother tell us a story this is an african story which is retold by umar raman now the main thing is we all love to hear stories right so we insist our mother our father or even our grandparents to tell these stories so now in this chapter also we can see that the children used to insist their mother to tell these stories so how come she tell the stories to the children let us see in this chapter so open your textbook to page number 19 and be ready with your notebook and pen to note down the important meanings let us first see the summary of the chapter in this story There is a woman whose name is Manza who is from Zululand in Africa. Here children used to ask her for the stories but she didn't know any story. The main occupation in Zululand was hunting and agriculture. The villagers who were smart used to weave and make wooden carvings with their hands manza's husband's name was zenzil he was expert in weaving and carving zenzil asked manza to look for stories and assured her that he will take care of home and children in her absence manza agreed for it and set out to look for stories She met across different animals and asked them the stories but they were helpless Finally the wise eagle told Manza about the big sea turtle who can help her to find the stories Manza climbed on the back of the great turtle and went into the depth of the ocean to the land of spirit people Everything was amazing and beautiful Finally they reached the residence of the spirit people which was extremely beautiful Manza was shy and afraid in front of the spirit people and bowed in front of them They asked Manza what she wanted she replied and asked for stories to take home The spirit people asked Manza to give pictures of dry land in return of stories. She promised to come back on the next full moon to collect the stories and give them the pictures of dry land. In this way the spirit people gave the gift of stories to Manza by handing her the largest and most beautiful shell. She went back to her village and when her children demanded for story she put the shell to her ear and began with the story Now let us first read the chapter and then see the explanation Mother tell us a story Manza's children said when they sat around the fire at night Manza couldn't think of a story However hard she thought no one else in the village knew stories the village where these story seeking children lived was in zululand in africa people hunted for meat or tilled the land in the village sometimes they fished or caught crabs the villagers who were clever with their hands wove baskets and made wooden carvings the cleverest of them was zenzil manza's husband he carved birds trees plants flowers and animals however he knew no stories one day zenzil told manza go look for stories i will look after our home and children Manza thought it was a very good idea. She packed some food and kissed her children with her basket on her head 
and the colorful beads on her dress swaying mansa set out to look for stories a hare looked at her curiously mansa knew that the hare was a tricky fellow but she decided to ask him if he knew any stories you never know who can be of help oh clever hare she said in a flattering tone do you know any stories my children want to hear stories every evening stories the hare said i know millions but i have more important things to do so saying he bounded off manza knew he was lying he had no stories he was a real trickster the manza met fanny the baboon she was playing with her babies fanny she called do you tell your kids stories what are stories asked fanny i'm busy keeping my babies fed and warm i have no time for anything else sighing manza went on she saw an owl in a wild fig tree oh owl she called do you have any stories for me to take home the owl was upset because her sleep had been disturbed you woke me up for stories she hooted humans cannot live in peace and are always looking for something she grumbled as she settled down and began to nod off again manza walked on sadly she saw an elephant ears flapping as he ate bananas kind elephant she said do you know any stories my children are hungry for some tales where can i look for them the elephant felt sorry for her i don't know any stories he said but the king of birds the eagle flies high in the sky and sees many things others do not that is a good idea manza exclaimed thank you manza saw the great fish eagle near the mouth of the tagela river a river in south africa swooping down from the sky talons outstretched to grab a fish oh great eagle she called startled the eagle dropped the fish he had picked up he landed on the shore near manza what do you want he asked oh great and wise eagle manza said flatteringly for the eagle was a vain bird my children are hungry for stories but we have none do you know of any that i can take back to them well the eagle said feeling important i am wise but i only know of things on earth there is one who knows the secrets of the deep dark ocean perhaps he could help you i will try and call him for you stay here and wait for me so manza waited for the fish eagle to return here i am the eagle called i have brought my friend the big sea turtle he has agreed to take you to a place where you can find stories the great sea turtle lifted himself out of the ocean and said in a deep voice climb on my back and hold on to my shell 
I will carry you to the land of the spirit people. Manza took hold of his shell and they went into the depths of the ocean. Manza's eyes grew rounder and rounder as they went deep into the ocean. Everything was amazing and beautiful and unlike anything on earth. Finally, they came to the bottom of the ocean, the dwelling of the spirit people. The king and the queen sat on magnificent thrones and the faces shone with such a light that Manza was a little shy and afraid she bowed before them. What do you want, women from the dry lands? They asked kindly. Do you have any stories that I could take home? Manza asked shyly. We have many stories, they said. But what will you give us in exchange, Manza? What would you like? Manza asked. We would like a picture of your home and your people. It would be nice to see that place. Because we cannot go there. Can you bring us a picture, Manza? I can do that, she said. My husband carves beautiful pictures. He will carve a lovely one for you. Manza climbed onto the turtle's shell and he took her back to the shore. She thanked him and asked him to return at the next full moon to collect her and the picture. Then Manza went home and got Zenzel to carve her a beautiful picture which showed the forest and the river and all the animals and birds on earth. The picture also had the village and all the people in it. When Zenzel finished it, he wrapped it in a piece of cloth and tied to Manza's back. Manza climbed onto the turtle's back and they went to the land of the spirit people. The king and the queen of the spirit people were very happy with the picture. For you and your people, they said, we give the gift of stories. They handed her the largest and most beautiful shell she had ever seen. Hold this shell to your ear to hear a tale. Back in the village, her children clamored. Mother, tell us a story. Manza put the shell to her ear and began. Once upon a time, and that is how stories came to be. Now let us see the explanation of the chapter. Mother, tell us a story. Manza's children said when they sat around the fire at night. Now here we can see that Manza and her children are sitting around the fire at night and they are insisting their mother to tell a story. Manza couldn't think of a story, however hard she thought. Now here Manza was trying to think about this story, but she was not able to do. No one else in the village knew stories. Now in that village, nobody else knew the story. The village where these story-seeking children lived was in Zululand in Africa. Now here the writer is saying that these children and village people were living in Zululand. It is the name of a village in Africa. People hunted for meat or tilled the land. Now, people were doing the hunting. Okay. And what is the meaning of tilled the land? Tilled the land means prepared the land to grow crops. That means agriculture. Sometimes they fished or caught crabs. They were doing fishing also and catching the crabs as well. 
द विलेजर्स हु वर क्लेवर विद दे हैंड्स वोव बास्केट्स एंड मेड वुडन कार्विंग्स नाउ हियर द राइटर इज सेइंग दैट द पीपल हु वर स्मार्ट बिसाइड्स हंटिंग एंड टिलिंग द लैंड्स दे वर वोविंग एंड कार्विंग ओके द क्लेवरेस्ट ऑफ them was zenzel manza's husband now who is zenzel zenzel is manza's husband and he was the cleverest among all the villagers he carved birds trees plants flowers and animals now what is the meaning of carve carve means to produce a work by cutting or to cut a material into a finished work however he knew no stories that means zenzel also had no idea of any kind of stories one day zenzel told manza go look out for stories i will look after our home and children now zenzel told manza to go and look out for stories and in her absence zenzel is going to look after his home and children also manza thought it was a very good idea she packed some food and kissed her children with her basket on her head and the colorful beads on her dress swaying manza set out to look for stories now manza prepared herself to go out and look for stories so she packed some food kissed her children and went off a hare looked at her curiously now what is the meaning of curiously curiously means in a way that shows eagerness to know or learn something manza knew that the hare was a tricky fellow now what is the meaning of tricky tricky means hard to deal with or complicated but she decided to ask him if he knew any stories you never know who can be of help oh clever hare now here manza knew that the hare is not going to tell about the stories because he don't know but then also she thought that you never know that who can be uh, helpful to you okay oh clever hare she said in a flattering tone now what is the meaning of flattering flattering means attractive or good looking that makes one look good here flattering means she was saying hair in our polite manner do you know any stories my children want to hear stories every evening here manza is asking hair to tell some stories stories the hair said i know millions but i have more important things to do now here hair is very clever so he replied manza that he know various stories but he is not having time to waste behind stories and has many more important works to do so saying he bounded off now what is the meaning of bounded off here means ran off with leaping stories he ran away from there manza knew he was lying he had no stories he was a real trickster what is the meaning of trickster someone who plays tricks on people manza knew that the hare is not knowing anything about story or not even a single story to say but then also she asked the hare but when it was time to tell the story the hare bounded off from there he ran away from there then moving ahead manza met fenny now who is fenny fenny is the baboon she was playing with a babies fenny she called do you tell you kids stories now here manza is asking baboon whose name is fenny now do you know any stories or do you tell any kind of stories to your babies what are stories asked fenny i'm busy keeping my babies fed and warm now here baboon is replying that she is always busy with her babies by feeding them and keeping them warm i have no time for anything else she is not having any time for anything else except feeding them and keeping them warm 
sighing manza went on now what is the meaning of sighing sighing means a deep prolonged audible inhale and exhale of breath when we do oof that means we are sighing she saw an owl in a wild fig tree now moving ahead she saw an owl oh owl she called do you have any stories for me to take home now she is asking an owl also that do you know any stories so that i can go home and tell my children about it the owl was upset because her sleep had been disturbed now here owl was upset why because that owl was sleeping and manza disturbed her you woke me up for stories she hooted now what is the meaning of hoot hoot means a derisive cry or shout or a cry of an owl humans cannot live in peace and are always looking for something now here that owl was shouting on manza that humans have no peace wherever they will go they will disturb everyone she grumbled now what is the meaning of grumbled a low thundering or growling sound she settled down and began to nod off again that means that owl again went off to sleep manza walked on sadly now she moved ahead but she was sad because whomever she met in on a way they were unable to tell about the stories she saw an elephant ears flapping as he ate bananas kind elephant she said do you know any stories now manza moved ahead and next she met an elephant who was eating bananas she asked that elephant also that do you know any stories my children are hungry for some tales some stories where can i look for them the elephant felt sorry for her i don't know any stories he said but the king of birds the eagle flies high in the sky and sees many things others do not now here elephant also told that he don't know any stories but he gave an idea that eagle used to fly up high in the sky so you can ask eagle to tell some stories that is a good idea manza exclaimed thank you now manza was really happy and she told an elephant that it is really a good idea and she thanked that elephant and went ahead manza saw the great fish eagle near the mouth of tagela river a river in south africa swooping down now what is the meaning of swooping down swooping down means coming down suddenly from the sky talons outstretched to grab a fish now what is the meaning of talons talons means sharp claws oh great eagle she called startled the eagle dropped the fish he had picked up now what is the meaning of startled startled means feeling or showing sudden shock or alarm your why eagle is startled because manza called out the eagle suddenly so he was startled and dropped the fish which he had picked up he landed on the shore near manza now what is the meaning of shore shore means the land along the edge of a sea lake or other large body of water what do you want he asked oh great and wise eagle manza said flatteringly now here eagle asked manza that what do you want why you called out me suddenly so she was saying in a very polite manner to eagle that my children are hungry for stories but we have none now she is so, uh, saying that my children want to hear stories but i don't know any stories and i don't know anyone who know stories so do you know any stories so that i can go home and tell them to my children well the eagle said feeling important i am wise but i only know of things on earth there is one who knows the secrets of the deep dark ocean now here eagle was very proud and he told that i am wise i know 
only things which happens on earth but i don't know anything else so he told that i know one someone who know the secrets of deep dark ocean also perhaps he could help you i will try and call him for you stay here and wait for me so manza waited for the fish eagle to return here i am the eagle called i have brought my friend the big sea turtle he has agreed to take you to a place where you can find stories now here the eagle came back and brought a big sea turtle along with him and that big sea turtle agreed to take manza to a place where there are a lot of stories the great sea turtle lifted himself out of the ocean and said in a deep voice climb on my back and hold on to my shell now here turtle is saying manza to climb on the back of his shell and hold it tightly so that he can carry her to the land of the spirit people now what is the meaning of spirit people spirit people means the one who cares about people animals and the planets manza took hold of a shell and they went into the depths of the ocean manza's eyes grew rounder and rounder as they went deep into the ocean now why she was amazed with everything because it was really very beautiful which was not like on earth it was really very different really very amazing really very attractive beautiful finally they came to the bottom of the ocean the dwelling of the spirit people now what is the meaning of dwelling dwelling means the residence of the spirit people king and the queen sat on magnificent thrones now what is the meaning of magnificent magnificent means extremely beautiful or impressive and what is the meaning of thrones throne means a ceremonial chair for a sovereign by show and their faces shone with such a light that manza was little shy and afraid and she bowed in front of them now here why manza is little bit shy and afraid when we also go in someone's house okay when we go to a new place there we are also shy we are also afraid so manza was little bit shy and afraid in front of spirit people what do you want women from the dry lands they asked kindly do you have stories that i could take home manza asked shyly now the spirit people are asking manza that why she came to their land what she wanted so manza replied that she wants some stories we have many stories they said but what will you give us in exchange manza now they told that they have a lot of stories but they want something in exchange of stories from manza what would you like manza asked we would like a picture of your home and your people it would be nice to see so they asked manza to give pictures of her land they wanted to see how the things work or how the things are on dry land i can do that she said my husband carves beautiful pictures he will carve a lovely one for you manza agreed to bring them the pictures of dry land Manza climbed on the turtle's shell and he took her back to the shore. She thanked him and asked him to return at the next full moon to collect her and the picture. She told that she'll be returning on the next moon and she'll bring the picture. So she asked turtle to collect her and also the picture. Then Manza went home and got Zenzel to carve her a beautiful picture which showed the forest and the river and all the animals and birds on earth. The picture also had the village and all the people in it. When Zenzel finished it, he wrapped it in a piece of cloth and tied it to Manza's back. Now Zenzel carved a beautiful painting which included all the animals, birds and the village. Manza climbed onto the turtle's back and they went to the land of the spirit people. The king and the queen of the spirit people were very happy with the picture. 
for you and your people they said we have the gift of stories they handed her the largest and most beautiful shells she had ever seen now they had handed over a shell which was really very beautiful and big which she had never seen before hold the shell to your ear to hear a tale now they said that whenever you want to hear a story you can hold the shell near your ears and you can tell the stories back in the village her children clamored now manza went back to her village and her children clamored what is the meaning of clamored clamored means demanded they were demanding for the stories manza put the shell to her ear and began once upon a time now whenever her children used to demand for a story she used to take out the shell and uh, put it uh, near her ear and started the story by saying once upon a time and this is how stories came to be and in this way manza told the stories to her children